these goats. Look how short, short legged and deep bodied this goat is. I mean, you want to talk about like a thrifty goat. That's it right there. Easy keeping kind of goat. I wish, I truly wish I had a thousand more just like her. These, this is one of my original purchases. So there's no telling how old she is. I bet she's every bit of, oh, she's every bit of five or six years old, if not older. And uh, she's produced every single year I've owned her. But to me, that's just, that's what you want a goat to look like. Or I shouldn't say that's what you want a goat to look like. That looks like an easy keeping goat to me. A hardy, easy keeping type goat that's gonna maintain its condition and go out and work and work for you. Just, just an opinion, nothing to back it up other than her production. But I sure like her. So we're back here now to where we cut all these cedars yesterday. And these are like, there's like four, four cedars right here that we cut down yesterday plus several back uh, on the other side of these trees a little bit but anyhow this is the last set that we cut on that day so they came to these last and you can see they stripped them completely clean completely bare and if you get like a real close-up for this the end of this thing you can see all the where they bit all that off and so you know right wrong or indifferent it's what we did um there was a lot of biomass there you know a goat's needing three and a half four percent of their body weight a day and so we were able to supply a lot of volume right here for those goats so that that's a good thing um you know we're providing all the the, the protein to them through uh the 20 percent cube every other day but then i my reading and my observation tells me that that's allowed them to maybe better utilize these trees than what they would have without it that could be wrong I, that's that's not uh it's not a fact that's just what i think right now today that could change but um i like the fact of being able to have something green this is a green forage in the middle of january for these goats to be able to use this eastern red cedar is a it's an unwanted species for us it's an it's overly abundant for us so i don't feel bad about cutting a tree down um, it's not truly maybe a sustainable activity but it's something that we're trying to keep in check anyhow on this ranch so i don't think it's a move backwards if we were cutting down other trees desire more desirable trees um i it would become more questionable to me but you know right now it was a whole lot and it was a whole lot better than hauling some hay into them you know we walked out here walked out here on her on foot with our chainsaw and cut these trees down we didn't have to go buy hay haul it in roll it out whatever you know so essentially what we did was we hauled forage in via chainsaw so i don't know to me it's kind of a neat concept um it's not going to work in a lot of places for a lot of people but here in this particular location this time of year it's something we can do so it's kind of cool mm -hmm.